Hey guys, so this morning I was just checking the exchange rate of the US dollar to Kenya shilling and I was surprised to learn that it's still on a, an increase. So currently, as of the shooting of this video, one US dollar is equivalent to 124.3 Kenya shillings and it's even um, more expensive. If you want to buy the dollar, you're going to need at least 129 Kenya shillings and I was like, whoa. Looks like this recession they have been talking about is um, just around the corner and just going by the infl inflation rate, um, the current inflation is slightly just above 7% and that's why I decided to talk about some of the things you can do immediately to recession proof your life and what do I mean by a recession? So I quickly went to um, Oxford Dictionary and it defines a recession as a period of temporary economic decline during which trade and industrial activity are reduced, generally identified by a fall in GDP in two successive quarters. So for example, you can say the country is in the depths of a recession. So the number one thing you want to make sure you do um, to recession proof your life is to be content. Yeah, be content, lower your expectations literally to the floor. Don't invent or invest in anything that you cannot afford to lose. Do not buy stuff that you can't buy twice or three times. So for example, if you are considering buying a house, you have to think like 50 times before you buy a house off plan and make sure that this is something that in the event that that house is not built, like your house is not gonna go to the dogs. Think about things like crypto, yeah? Is this something you want to really put your money in because it's a win or lose situation because like with cryptos people make money mostly um by buying cheap and selling high if it's subscriptions cancel those subscriptions that are doing you no good yeah so that's one way lower your expectations to the floor and embrace poverty yeah number two shun debt like the plague that it is guys i cannot begin to tell you in fact you will not believe so this morning i actually received a message from um, from kcb and pesa wait for it is the message they sent me dear customer you received a message with a loan limit of kenya shillings one hundred and nineteen thousand. your correct loan limit is kenya shillings twenty nine thousand seven hundred and fifty. we regret the concern it may have caused and here is another message guys you see why i need to buy another phone <laughs> forget just ignore the phone this is from uh, m Shwari. do you need a boost to take care of school opening expenses like fees and books m Shwari has got you covered take a loan of up to 39 32,900 today and remember to pay back in 30 days to keep growing your loan limit so guys no offense against anyone who thinks that they want to like run their life with debt or just keep taking on debt on debt but as you can see there is no shortage of debt providers like literally debt is being pushed even to your phone you're just there minding your own business you're not even thinking of an insurance loan or a kcb and pesa loan and boom before you know it one minute your loan limit is 119,000. the next minute they're like oh it was a mistake but really don't take debt unless you want to invest it or don't take debt for you know to go and buy ugali for example yeah um the credit reference bureau is real and there's a lot of people that now cannot even take um proper debts that they want to take for investment because they defaulted on a 200 i'm sure loan for example yeah so whatever you're taking whatever whenever you decide to take a loan just know that uh, taking that loan is probably to um, especially if you're taking it to please people that you don't even like, to buy things that you don't even love, it's just a whole waste of time. Number three, experiment with the creator economy. What do I mean by creator economy is exactly what I'm doing right now. And um, the, I will leave a link in the description box below of a video that I did about how you can get into the creator economy in 2023 some very quick steps of how to go about it so basically what you want to do is to build a tribe of people with similar goals and um hobbies or experiences and do it online do it publicly because in the future this could be help you in terms of um 
if you want to help if you need uh, to build your business if you need to outsource some tasks if you need to get um, some ideas or if you just want to bounce off um, some stuff again as some people then you already have your tribe and you could possibly convert it into money like if it's a youtube channel and it's monetized for example that is something you can consider and speaking of um monetizing youtube channels i actually did a video i'm gonna link it also as well here of how much actually youtube paid me for one of my channels in 2022 you do not want to miss that and the only reason i share with you is not because i want to brag or anything because your girl wants to inspire you and let you know that there's money to be made on the internet so in fact um if you have the internet and you have access to the internet you have access to which is my point number three um get an additional income stream multiple if possible because one is too close to zero guys and as i've mentioned if you have access to the internet you automatically have access to a second a third a fourth a fifth sixth seventh income stream so experiment yeah try different things and um over on even tally finance i actually share with you a whole range of different ways you can make money on my side hustle opportunities different ways to make um passive income and all those ways i share with you i have either tried them or i know someone that has and they have made money so it may not make you a millionaire but it can make the difference between a forced fast and a planned one and i say in kiswahili haba na haba jaza kibaba number seven to recession proof your life this is not a time to get depressed it's not a time to get sad in fact i was reading um i was reading a comment which was a very sad comment a tweet was it a tweet i think um that andrew kibe had tweeted on his twitter profile and there's this guy in fact let me just look for it um where is it andrew kibe i may look for that then i will share it right now this is not the time to get depressed when you are trying to research your proof your life because remember during a recession there is um little money available circulating around businesses are closing people are getting retrenched and that goes with your medical cover you do not want to have to leave um off of your you know savings or whatever so i have found the post let me read it. it's a very sad one but so you can see here, this guy here sent his, um, this is Andrew Kibe's um, Twitter account. This is January 21. Hello, I'm Henry, 21 years, a student of Rongo University, requesting for help for connections to any kidney buyer. I'm currently unable to raise my campus fee and accommodation money. Need help. Finding me a potential buyer would be of advantage rather than dying of suicide because my life is all a mess single parented by a mother 67 years old easier said than done depression is not where you want to be during a recession as they say death taxes and recessions are the only guarantees in life which means that if there's a recession there's going to be a time when the market is going to correct itself but all these things death taxes and recessions do come with good yeah there's bad of course death and taxes and recessions they're not good things they're not bad things but there's always lemonade that can be made from the lemons things explode and it forces people to solve problems in different novel ways take a, a look at COVID, for example so many of the content creators that are making it big today were creators of COVID. if it wasn't for COVID, they wouldn't be here a lot of people were bored locked up in their houses and they decided to start sharing content online and before they knew it they were smiling all the way to the back. So look at the positive side of the recession and find out what you can do during this period um, to make money, for example, or to better your life. Last but not least is to be realistic, um, especially with your expectations. So for example, if you are employed, um, even as you hope for the best, prepare for the worst, you could actually lose your job. If there's anything we can learn from 2022, especially with the tech layoffs, HR is not your friend. The business is to hire and to fire. And since they hired you, the only other business they have left is to fire you. 
So you have to, as much as you're being hopeful that they don't fire you, you have to be prepared in the event that you get fired or in the event that they lay you off. And there are different ways that you can actually prepare for your high, for your fire. So number one, you can start getting in touch with any recruiters you know about. You can start applying for jobs even before um, um, the actual firing comes in. You can start, you know, side hustling. You can contact your former colleagues or your former bosses and find out if they could have um, vacancies for you. So guys, that's it for today in terms of how you can recession proof your life. Please share this video with other people that you think would benefit from it. And if you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, let me know in the comment section below what kind of videos you want to see more of and how I could improve in the future. Thank you for staying to the end. I will see you on the next one.